sunk cost is a sum of money that has been paid in the past that cannot be recovered and therefore should not be considered relevant to making rational decisions about the future. But in reality, many people show a greater tendency to continue with an endeavour once an investment of money, time or effort has been made. If people believe in something that fails, they reframe the evidence, often with extreme distortions, to fit their beliefs. They find it easier to do this than to entertain the possibility that they might have been wrong. The more that people have invested intellectually, emotionally and financially in a position, the more likely they are to reframe the evidence to suit that position, or to continue spending their time and money on fruitless endeavours. They feel that they've invested too much to leave and that if they walk away, everything they've done up to that point will have been in vain. Adherence to this fallacy causes people to continue with hopeless courses of action long after they become hopeless, or to continue to spend money on, for example, an expensive but aging car long after it stops being economical to do so. This, I've started so I'll finish, line of thinking leads to overruns in high value projects and persisting with relationships, both business and personal, long past their best before dates. This seems to be especially true when the amount of investment that's about to be made seems small in comparison to the investment that's been made so far. So whenever you need to make a change to one of your projects, don't just assess the impact on the delivery timescales and the cost. Don't say, I've started so I'll finish. Run the numbers on the benefits as well and compare that to the signed off business case to make sure that your project is still worth it. Your sponsor will thank you for it. Does your thinking fall into the sunk cost trap? What do you do to avoid it? Let me know in the comments and follow or connect for more Pragmatic PMO videos.